Hi, I'm Hugh Braslin with Microchips FPGA Business Unit. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Polar Fire SOC GitHub. The Polar Fire SOC GitHub organization is available at github.com forward slash Polar Fire SOC. It contains several repositories that all relate to Polar Fire SOC, and GitHub is going to be the main delivery mechanism for all of the drivers and support projects for Polar Fire SOC. So let's have a look at some of the repositories available. The first is the Polar Fire SOC configuration generator. This is a Python script that's used to convert the XML file generated by the Libro MSS or the Polar Fire SOC MSS configurator into header files that can be used by embedded software running on the MSS. So in this repository, you can find um, a copy of the generation script itself. You can find uh, an execution script for Linux and for Windows. It's got a readme that describes how to use the script. And it's also got some reference XML available to let you test it out. So that's the Polar Fire SOC configuration generator. Another repository that's available is the Polar Fire SOC Buildroot SDK. The Buildroot SDK is the software development kit for Linux using the Buildroot build system. This repository um, has its readme available, which gives you instructions on how to build using Buildroot, how to um, program your target, and then at the end as well it has and the prerequisite packages required to actually run a build root build. So this repository is quite useful as well. If we go back once again, another repository we have available is the Polar Fire SOC bare metal library, and we've done a separate standalone video just on this. So this repository uh, contains the Polar Fire SOC HAL available as a standalone folder up here, and it also contains examples of the Polar Fire SOC MSS peripheral drivers. So any of the MSS peripherals um, will have a driver and example projects available in the examples folder of the bare metal library. So if we go back, uh, another repository that's available is the Heart Software Services. The Heart Software Services is commonly referred to as the HSS, and it's a zero-stage bootloader that runs on Polar Fire SOC. And on system startup, it can load code from non-volatile storage, such as the EMMC or the SD card, and actually load it into volatile storage, such as DDR on boot, to run Linux or a bare metal application. So all of the source code for the HSS is available here, along with a readme um, that explains how to build and configure the HSS. Um, and then another repository that's available is the Icicle Kit reference design. So this repository um, contains two scripts, an emmc.tickle uh, script and an SD card.tickle script. And these can be run from Libro um, version 12.5 and greater, and the current release is 12.5 to build a Libro project that targets the Icicle Kit. Uh, so this project is what's available as well in the documentation folder, I'll show in a minute. And it can be it can then be programmed onto the device and it's the project that's programmed onto the device when it's initially powered on. Um, and as well in here, we have an XML folder with reference XML that can be used with the configuration generator to generate header files for your bare metal um, applications. So if we go back to the Polar Fire SOC repository again, another repository that's available is the Polar Fire SOC documentation repository. And this one's quite useful uh, because it has, for example, if we go into the boards folder, we have an icicle kit ES folder in here. And this has two documents available, a software developer user guide and an updating icicle kit folder. And if we go into this readme here, you can see this file contains information on um, programming files and Linux images for 
um, available for download. So you can download SD card and EMMC pro um, programming files along with Linux images for Windows and Linux hosts. Gives you jumper settings, um, serial port configurations and Linux login credentials for boot. How to program your SD card or your EMMC from Windows and Linux and then links to all the tools. So the documentation uh, repository is quite useful for finding out any information you need about getting your target up and running. And then finally, the last repository that's available is the Meta Polar Fire SOC Yocto BSP. So this is the Yocto board support package for Polar Fire SOC, which is another Linux build system. So you have the option of build root and Yocto um, as your Linux build systems. And similar to Buildroot, Yocto has um, build instructions up at the top of its readme on cloning the repository and then actually creating an image. And then it also has um, information on any known issues and information on how to actually configure your system to run a Yocto build. So that's been a very quick introduction to the Polarfire SOC GitHub organization and the repositories that we currently have available.